I love the colors of stained glass windows. Oh, I could just look at these all day long. The colors are so vibrant and the shapes of the glass, just, just so beautiful. So let's do a, ma a mandala today based on this design. I'm gonna show you how to draw this on a six by six canvas in case you want to teach a class in your own home. First, I'm finding the center of the canvas and then I'm drawing from corner to corner to give us a grid. Now I need something round. It's hard to trace around these things because you can't really see the center. So a quick way to do it is to cut a four inch circle and fold it into quarters and then snip off the end. And then you can line that up with your center and get it on there just perfectly. This is a two inch circle. We're gonna do the same thing, fold it into quarters, snip off the end, and then line it up with the grid and trace around the exterior. Now to draw the outside circle, I just used a bowl because it fit perfectly on my six by six grid. Now I want to start drawing that beautiful leaf pattern that's on the outside of the rose windows of the uh, cathedrals. So I'm gonna find the middle of the second line and then draw a curved line down to it from the outside rim. And just do that all the way around on each radius. and then go back and do the other side until you have a leaf pattern all the way around. Now that I've done it on a piece of paper, I'm doing it on a six by six canvas that I've painted black and I'm ready to start with my paints. They're all mixed up and ready to go. And today we'll be using these crochet hooks to do the dot mandala work. Starting with a very vibrant metallic blue. Wipe that off on a damp paper towel. And now I'm going to be walking those dots toward the center I'm using the next smallest tool and then my manicure stylus to get even smaller dots. Just making your eye draw in toward the center of this design. And then I'll put a larger center dot in there. Now I'm gonna fill in the space with a lighter blue walking those toward the center dot as well. Now I'm going to be going in between the guidelines with a white dot. And then walking a row of small pink dots around that toward the center. This mandala is a little bit more complicated than some of our earlier ones. It will take a little bit longer, but you should be able to do it in about an hour and a half. Now we're using a more vibrant pink, making a second row of dots. And then on the very outside edge, of each leaf point, we're putting a large pale blue dot and then using the smaller dots, working our way around those leaf edges. It's so nice to have these guidelines because you can just 
follow it almost like you're in a coloring book. It makes it very easy to get the right shape. Now I'm going back with a paler blue and I'm going to be walking those dots backwards up along the same edge of the leaf just in a different direction going from larger to smaller until we get back to the point. Now adding a larger purple dot and I'm going to be walking these on the guideline toward the center. Whoops! Wrong color of paint. It's always good to have a Q-tip right handy so you can dab that up as quickly as possible before it dries. And then putting the correct color back where it needs to go. <laughs> okay, now we can keep walking those toward the center. Give that a shot with the blow dryer and moving on. Here we're adding a larger white dot, about the same size as the white dots on the inside. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Walk a, a light pink row around that and then a dark pink row, just like before. Now along that circle, I'm doing the vibrant blue again and then adding light blue dots out to the corners. Now I'm going back with some top dots on the purple row and I'm offsetting these toward the top edge. And then I'll also be putting a vibrant blue dot on the inside white dots and then a white on top of the blue in the same row and then a pale pink on top of the white in the outside row and a purple center dot. Now you can end right there if you've run out of time in your class. I wanted to finish this off so I decided to go all the way around the outside with purple and with each row I'm adding a little bit of white so it is getting a lighter tone as you go out to the corners. Well done! Now this pattern can be used on a larger canvas too. I decided to do a dream catcher for my husband and he likes browns and turquoise. So I used the same pattern, I just did it on a, a 16 by 20 canvas and just kept working my rows outward. I really like how it turned out. 